Greetings, fellow Earthlings, and welcome to quarantine. As you can tell from my voice, I have the dreaded Rona. And so when I heard that I had to take time off work and live like a hermit, that just sounded like a YouTube video to me. And so I thought I'd make a short one here before I lose my voice completely. And uh, what we're gonna do is replace the crankshaft sensor. This is the crankshaft sensor. The reason for that is when the engine was in this car, I was having some issues with a slow start. It wouldn't start right on the button. And I hadn't really fully diagnosed that. And so in a classic case of just throwing parts at a problem, I thought I'd just put a crankshaft sensor in there. Uh, after some reading, it can cause that symptom. And the other thing too is while the engine is out of the car, that is much easier to do. So let's take a look on the car where this is. It's right behind the uh, driver's wheel here, uh, right on the join of where the engine meets the bell housing on the driver's side there. And the crankshaft sensor, um, I did try, it's a hall effect sensor, uh, like a proximity sensor, it can tell when metal is nearby. And I had tried making a little rig with it so that I could demonstrate it when a wrench came close, but my Rona brain could not figure it out. And so we're gonna do a little static demonstration. In that position where it is uh, near the bell housing, it's got its uh, sensory part facing towards the teeth of this uh, mass, a dual mass uh, flywheel. And where that gap in the flywheel is, it can tell every time that goes by, and I'm sure it can probably tell all those little teeth that go by. And using some of the computer wizardry on board, it's able to then tell the computer where the crankshaft is and adjust everything accordingly. And so um, with the engine out, like I said, that is much easier to do. And so uh, let's get on with it. Regular viewers may remember our first crankshaft sensor adventure in episode 16 with Amber. Okay, the crankshaft position sensor. This is located at the flywheel side of the engine on bank one. I know none of you are hearing a word I'm saying right now. Thank you very much, Amber. And for those of you still watching this episode, here it is in far less exciting detail. First thing we need to do is just undo these clips that hold on to the connector and the wire for the connector, and that just pulls out. Moving the camshaft solenoid connector there to get some room. That blue pipe is the oil feed for our Tuner S Motorsports IMS bearing. As demonstrated by Amber, it's pretty easy. Just undo that H5 and take out the crankshaft sensor. Now I don't have any electronic skills, but I do own a multimeter, and so I'm trying to do a resistance test here. There's three little connectors, a plus and a minus and a signal. I kind of know what that means. And really, I'm just putting the two probes across the uh, middle connector and one of the side ones. If it doesn't give you any reading, then try the other one. The only observation I had was that the old crankshaft sensor had a ohms resistance of about 5.2 mega ohms. I think that's what that means. And the new one had slightly more resistance of around 6.3 or so. Speaking from the future, it does seem that that crankshaft sensor, though old, was not malfunctioning. And so that reading may well be within the realms of normality. If any of you happen to know what the resistance reading should be or any better ways of testing these crankshaft sensors, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will share it with the group. Putting the crankshaft sensor back in really is quite simple. Also, just threading the cable back through its little area there up on the cylinder head, putting all of those other bits and bobs back together and then plugging it in. A little bit of the blue thread locker on that H5 bolt and then tie into 10 newton meters. Pretty simple. I hope being able to see this clearly outside of the car is a help to those of you trying to do it with the engine still in the car. It is possible though, obviously much more annoying. 
Unfortunately, that's all we have time for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time.